Hey guys, so this is just a quick demo of the resize images action in Drop Zone 4. So to use this action, you're going to want to click on the Drop Zone menu item, and then in the top left of the grid, just click on this plus icon here, and it's going to give you a list of all the different actions that you can add. Just choose resize images. And now it's going to come up with all the options that you can configure for this action. Uh, so you can use this action in a bunch of different ways. You can use it to convert images between different formats. And you can set the pixel width of the image. And for a JPEG, you can also change the quality, which is going to impact the file size. So for this example, I'm just going to resize the images to 300. And uh, if you tick convert only, it will not change the pixel dimensions of the image. It will just convert uh, to the chosen output format. And if you have keep originals ticked, which is the default, then it will not delete the original image after the resize is finished. So now that I've configured the image options, you also need to configure an output folder. So you can um, have it output to the same folder as the source image, or you can choose after each resize uh, where you want to save the resized or converted images to, or you can choose a folder in advance. So for this example, I'm just going to leave it on the default, which is to output to the same folder as the source. And now we've got all that configured, just click Add. And now you'll see if I open the grid, um, I've now got the resize images action in there. And um, I have a folder of images here that I'm going to use. So um, here's the larger image that I want to resize. So I'm just going to drag that onto the action. And you can see here that it's resized it to that size. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can also drop multiple images onto it. So if I drop these three images onto the action, and it's going to create three new images, which are resized versions of the original. So pretty cool. So the other neat thing about this action is you can also add multiple instances of it to your grid. Uh, so I'm going to add another resize images action. And this time I'm going to give it a different name. I'm going to call it resize 600px. And I'm going to use slightly different settings for this one. I'm going to change the width to 600 pixels wide. And I'm going to pre-select an output folder. I'm going to have it output the images into this resized images folder. And I'm going to add that action. And then you'll see in the grid that I have two actions. Uh, I have resize images, which is the original one to resize to 300 pixels wide. And I also have resize 600px, which has um, the width set at 600. And that outputs to the resized images folder. So uh, I'm going to drop this folder of images onto the resize 600px. And then you'll see that in this resized images folder, I now have a bunch of images that have been resized to uh, 600 pixels. So this can be really useful if you've got a whole bunch of different uh, image sizes that you regularly resize to, then you can just set up multiple versions of the action in your grid, each with the settings that you need and the output folders that you need. And um, when you drop your images on them, Drop Zone will just do its thing and automatically resize them to the uh, preset sizes. So that could be really handy.